Welcome. It's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back. Uh, I'm back pretty late today because I just woke up at 3 p.m. after staying up really late. I think it started at 3 a.m. the Twitch uh, Rivals Battle Royale Path of Exile event, which was super, super fun to watch. But um, yeah, I had to get quite a bit of sleep after that one. Sitting here with my coffee in my BPL mug. Uh, by the way, BPL is coming on the 27th of August, if you're interested. Start of week five, so get ready for that. If you want to purchase a mug or a shirt, link down below. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, enough of the Badger shill. Right in front of you here, you have Mr. Ratman himself, my Rage Vortex character. Uh, we are almost ready to make the build guide. Uh, honestly, tomorrow I'm going to be taking a day off streaming and uh, using that to make the build guide. So if you're waiting for the build guide for this character, get ready. It's coming and it's going to be spicy. Um, uh, we've been grinding a lot, uh, grinding a lot of maps and everything like that, getting a little bit of currency, you know, taking our time because we're just having fun with the league. But uh, today I'm going to be grinding a lot more maps. Now, the reason being is one specific tweet from Path of Exile. Now, I'll just grab it up right here for you. Might even, might even buff that up right there because Path of Exile is buffing the drop rate of Expedition Logbooks by 53%. So this should, uh, uh, Big Ducks asked the question, is this an increased or more multiplier? Uh, with uh, no other increased uh, modifiers, it should just be a flat increased, but it will be treated like a more multiplier. You should be seeing 53% more logbooks in your maps. Uh, this should go into effect later today. Thanks for your feedback about this. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for giving feedback to Path of Exile for this. I do think, I've been playing a lot, I've dropped about 14 logbooks so far, which is a lot compared to, to, compared to people, but I've been mapping consistently. My atlas is almost complete, uh, well, almost complete in terms of, you know, getting all the Maven influences, I've still got quite a few maps to do, but we've run Awaken a level 8 Cirrus maybe 5, no, maybe 4 times I think now, and that's, you know, that's a lot of maps. I wonder if there's even a challenge to do with maps. Uh, complete map tiers, yeah. So we're up to we're up to 4,225 map tiers. Considering, uh, I'd say maybe 60% of those are in, you know, tier 10 and above, then, you know, we're looking at at least 400, at least 400 maps so far. 14 logbooks, yeah. Uh, so if that's going up by 50%, I uh, am probably going to be getting a few more logbooks. You yourself should definitely be getting logbooks. Um, now, there's actually, I, I'm going to talk about a little bit uh, right here. Um, this is actually a little bit impromptu, but I'm going to go into a map for you guys right here. I'm going to go into this pier map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully come across uh, a fairly decent expedition within the map itself. You'll be able to see the gameplay of the character here. And I'm just going to walk you through a couple of steps that I take myself to number one, get better logbook drops, and number two, maximize the drops out of my expeditions as well. Because... Um, a lot of the rewards that you're getting from expeditions, a lot of people are saying uh, they're quite weak, and I I disagree. Uh, it's not like a heist where you just chuck a deception heist in and you you know you get like six stack decks out of it. You can get six, ten, even stack decks out of uh, specific um, uh, expedition zones themselves, uh, but they're in map, so they're a bit quicker. You don't have to go to heist, right? Uh, and they do take a little bit more of that uh, that that click 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 brain power. Uh, that we all know and love. So I'm just going to jump into here um, and see if we can just quickly zoom. Wait for my particle effects to actually load in. We're going to see if we can just zoom to where the expedition might be. I'll clear the mobs and then I'll show you what I would... Basically, I'll walk you through my my, uh, my mental process in how I would go about each individual um, each individual zone, right? Because I think... I think just showcasing what I do, and I find the rewards are pretty fine, and this is how I maximize logbooks as well. However, this one doesn't look like I'll be able to maximize logbooks too much right here. All right, let's have a little talk, right? So first of all, I do a nice, very quick leap slam across. I look at the end of uh, the end of each of the uh, the remnants, because they'll usually say right at the end of it, pack size, increased experience, right? Uh, quantity of items, pack size, dropped by monsters, quantity of items... Uh, corrupted items, you know, you can usually just tell just by looking at the end of it. So I leap slam around very quickly, I do one, one look around, I take a little look, and then I decide what I'm going to do. 
So the big things that stand out to me first are currency items, pack size, and quantity dropped by monsters in this one. The rest aren't very good, and obviously I'm a full physical build, I'm definitely not going to be going to this physical damage. You also want to be looking for these ones right here. Now these orange ones, in my uh, experimentation, they very, very, very likely are to drop uh, reroll currencies. I'm not sure if this was a buff recently or something like that, but um, Tujin, uh, his reroll currency is exotic coinage, I love it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try and blow this one up. But uh, I'll try and blow this one up the last uh, in, in the last cycle because we've got you know a couple of things around here. We've got pack size over here, but we might not have enough charges to get that pack size as well. Got a couple of chests. The yellow chests are really good to, to uh, open as well if possible. So what I do see right here is right from the detonator, I could probably hit the rarity uh, two chests. Yep, rarity two chests and quantity. So I'm going to hit that one right there. Right. Then we're going to come down. So you want to you want to start with you know either focusing on the monsters themselves or the chests. We're going to be going monsters and chests, but mostly monsters in, in terms of pack size here as well, right? So we're going to go down here and we're going to go excavated chests. Can we hit both of them at the same time? We looks like we will be able to hit both of these at the same time. So you really want to make sure if you can hit both at the same time, then you definitely go for it, right? So we hit the it, number two. Then we come back through, we got corrupted items and pack size, right? So we hit this one right over here. Uh, then I'm just going to start hitting up here, hit a couple of chests. And then if I can reach all the way over here to hit another chest, making sure I don't hit the physical right there. So that's what I would have done with this one right here. And it's, you know, indeed what I did do with this one right here. There are, um, I was hoping that I would see one that has, you know, 50% uh, increased chance for runic monsters to drop logbooks, right? So what you want to do if you see that, Sometimes you might even see two of those, is you want to first of all, let's say this one right here is logbooks. Uh, so you want to extend to this one as quick as possible in the chain, so that the rest of the chains have the increased logbooks. And then you just want to try and hit as many of the skulls as possible while picking up pack size. Uh, pack size or some rare ones are like monsters are duplicated, that's amazing as well. And that's how I've gotten uh, quite a few of my logbooks, is really first of all juicing 50% increased chance for ring monsters to drop logbooks. Then uh, then pack size as much as you can. Pack size, duplication of monsters, anything to do with increasing monster size, as well as picking up all of these large skulls. These large skulls are basically uh, lots of runic monsters, so you can definitely pick those ones up. All right, well, let's detonate these explosives and see how this feels. Uh, so we got three chests to begin with. Now, in hindsight, well, there we are. There's a logbook straight away, which is pretty nice. Um, that's just luck, basically. That's that's basically just luck uh, right there with that one, because that was the first chain. No pack size on that or anything like that, but, you know, it's always nice to drop a logbook. We've got a lot of chests in this one as well, because I did, as I said, I focused on chests, um, uh, because we got a couple of chest rewards. Uh, so let's open the chests here. So we got chest number one, chest number two, chest number three, chest number four. Now this was the golden chest, so let's see. We got Grand Black Scythe Artifacts, which are the highest tier. We didn't get any reroll currency, but we did get the highest tier. So definitely try and open those orange ones as much as possible. They're really, really strong. This one, we got a couple of currency shards and stuff. We got three Chaos, we got an Expedition Logbook, we got some Grand Black Scythe Artifacts. Um, that's super, super awesome. The last thing that I will say with the League Mechanic itself is... Um, I think one reason people are saying the League Mechanic is not rewarding is because people aren't taking into consideration at all the cost of selling uh, the artifacts themselves. Um, now, uh, a lot of the artifacts, if you sell them in bulk, you can actually net a pretty penny if you don't want to re-roll yourself. Now, I know that means that you're not actually going to be using the league mechanic yourself, but, you know, it's the same as going into a map and dropping contracts and then selling those to people who want to run heists, right? It is a way to make currency. Doing the league mechanic uh, in maps and then just, you know, building up... Say, say you run 100 maps, and then you just sell all of your bulk of everything like that. I don't sell any of it myself. I've got quite a few here, but I also do use them a lot. You can see here, I, have, I don't have any coinages or any of the uh, ruined medallions there as well. Or buried medallions, I should say. But I've got a lot of the other stuff right here as well. Uh, you know, I would say the smaller currencies, you get them to around 5,000, you might be able to sell decently. You get these ones to about, you know, 1,000 to 2,000, you'll sell them. And then these ones anywhere from like 100 up, you'll probably sell them. Uh, maybe even 200 up, you'll probably sell them relatively okay. That's all I really have to say. I hope you guys have a wonderful time trying to hunt your logbooks. I hope this has helped in any sort of way in gathering 
uh, loot from the uh, expeditions themselves, uh, trying to grind up your log books. Good luck with it all, everyone. Um, I'm going to go play some Path of Exile now because uh, I'm very excited to do so because uh, I'm loving the game. Um, you know, even with its downfalls, this league, it's one of the most fun leagues to me in particular. That is a personal opinion. Do not attack anyone for their personal opinions. Uh, you know, uh, let's just have fun in this video game. So build guide, hopefully tomorrow for this build. Then we will be starting a new build. I think it's going to be a Smite Battle Mages Cry Absolution build. But I still have to do the POB for that because it could very much flop. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this kind of content, hit that sub button down below. Let me know in the comments uh, what build you are playing right now. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Badger is out.